in the last video we created we solved the vehicle routing problem by importing the orders depots routes and also the barriers avoiding those barriers now in this exercise we'll update our delivery routes to accommodate the lunch breaks of those drivers and also we'll be considering the window of availability for different locations certain stores are only receive uh, the materials from warehouse at certain time and that's what we refer when we say uh, the window opening window time and the, the start window time and the end window time that's what it means when one says window time how can we do that let's close this we've already saved it if not then click yes and our file let's go to the ad breaks and open the ad breaks project file once it opens then we'll be considering those factors as well and as a practice we'll be repeating what we had did in the last exercise going to analysis and uh, going to network analysis sometimes it takes a while to load okay network analysis vehicle routing problem and let's add all the features to our problem all the factors to our problem right okay vrp layer import orders orders are coming from the stores with time windows so this time we have time windows in our store as well actually it will be a nice opportunity to see our store with time windows attribute table so if you see this attribute table then you can see not just the stores but also the time window start and time window end so we have the timestamps when the store is available for delivery so I hope you understand that if not put it in the comments and I can explain more import orders input location store with time windows apply next we need depots the depots are our warehouse apply and uh, uh, point barriers it's point barriers apply and okay we'll be doing breaks soon but first let's do routes routes is delivery routes supply and then we have uh, line barriers go to barrier layer line barriers supply and uh, we have polygon barriers as well the festival do you remember so go to polygon barriers and apply let's see what else we have okay that's it that's all that which we did in the previous exercise so in this exercise there will be one extra thing that's our breaks here we don't already have the breaks so we need a data set of uh, break time for our drivers fortunately we have it in our catalog go to catalog and under folder add breaks you can uh, go to add breaks database and there we can find the breaks table let's add this table add to current map and then we'll see about it let's see the Oh, sorry let's right click it and open the table there we go so we see uh, time window start and time window end it means the driver can take a break between any time between 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. 1 p.m. but it should be only 30 minutes break so the service time should be only 30 minutes that's what it specifies so the driver of this route downtown 
and another driver for uh, east bay route that's how it is specified now if you click vehicle routing problem then the vehicle routing problem layer uh, contextual menu appears and then there you can click on import brakes so let's import the brake mm, let's oh there it is in the middle okay brakes and let's apply it so in this way we have all we have also added the break time now will there be a pro uh, change in route you see in this route this is the route that we had made pre in the previous session avoiding all those uh, incidents but now will it change when we have also given the break times and the store opening times as well times let's run and see changes using the break times yes so you can see new route how it uh, how it goes using the break times right in this way my friends we can perform vehicle routing problem solving uh, using the brakes and uh, uh, opening time and all the constraints like barriers and all so we have completed our fleet management vehicle route problem solving as well and uh, uh, also considering those schedule constraints so uh, this will be the end of this network analysis series I might post more future videos in this series as well Let's hope.